So we've looked at how to run our app locally on our desktop, but now it's time to see what the app would look like on an actual device. And luckily, vPlay has sorted all of that out for us with a brilliant system called Live Code Reloading. So let's go ahead and see how to do that. The very first thing you need to do is to grab a hold of your real life Android device and install vPlay and QML Live Scripting off of the Play Store. If you have an iOS device, then go ahead and install the same app, but of course on the Apple App Store. And installing these two apps will allow us to actually connect to our live server on the desktop. Once you run these apps, you need to make sure that your desktop and your devices are connected to the same network without any firewall interference, i.e. connected to the same Wi-Fi access point. Once you've installed the app, go to your vPlay Live server on your desktop, this is, hit Connect Mobile, and it will take you to the documentation page that runs you through the various steps you need to do. But actually, you don't need that because it's pretty simple. If I minimize that, if you open up the vPlay app on your device, right at the top of the top page, there's a Connect Desktop. All you do is press that. And what that'll do is connect and your live server will detect automatically there's a new request. So obviously this is from my iPhone. And the next version, I've just got my Android here. I'm gonna hit Connect Desktop. Give it a second and it tells you your HTC has connected. And of course you can connect many more devices. I'm not sure if there's an upper limit on it, but having two, one for each platform is a pretty good idea. Now the beauty of this is as soon as you connect, it runs the application on your device using the vPlay app inside of your device. You can see what it looks like and how it generally behaves. Now, let's say we go into our main page and we change that back to main page three. We go and save that. If you're looking at your devices, you'll notice immediately that they change. There's what, a three to five second wait and that's vPlay sending over the code via that live server, sending it over to your devices. And your devices will immediately update with that brand new code. So just to finish off, if you've developed apps before, you've probably used Android Studio, you used Xcode. Android Studio is one of the worst optimized IDEs in terms of building an app and sending it. It takes at least 30 seconds, you know, and if you're changing something, testing, changing something, testing, you can waste hours a day, literally. Sometimes you can waste hours just waiting for it to load. So this live testing across multiple devices is actually a really, really useful thing and will save you a lot of time in the long run when you use vPlay to make your cross-platform applications.